This is a breaking news live report in our Bridgewater studios. Here's Tim Clark. We are going to go now live to our studio in Paris for an interesting story of mistaken identity. I'm joined by satellite by Simon Clark to share his story. Good morning, Simon. Good morning. I understand that you had an interesting couple of days. What first alerted you that the police were looking for you in Canada? When I got a call from my mother that the police were looking for me. Were you shocked to find out that you were wanted by the police in Canada for a holdup? Yes, because I would never rob a bank. I'm only 11 and I can't even drive. Have the police contacted you in Paris to straighten this out? No, I tried to contact them, but for some reason they couldn't get back to me. Are you aware that it was one of your classmates who told the police that you may have been involved? No, I didn't know. I don't know why he would say that, but I don't know him that well. How did the police get pictures of you? I have a website online. He may have gotten a picture from my website and put it on and gave it to the police. Do you have any idea how the mix-up happened? No, not right now. It's What I'm aware of is that another person has my name. So when do you expect to be back in Canada? In about two weeks. We think that we'll be flying back around that time. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Simon. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. For more on the story, we're now joined by Noah Clark, a student at Hebville, and he's with us live by satellite. Hi, Noah. How do you know Simon Clark? We go to the same school, and I see him in the hallways. In I think he's a strange character. What prompted you to contact police about Simon? I heard some people talking about him, and I reported it to the police. Did you furnish a picture for the police about Simon? Yeah, I did. Where did you get the picture? He has a website, and I downloaded it from his website and gave it to the police. What was their response when they found out that Simon was only an 11-year-old student from Hebville? They didn't seem surprised. They told me they were going to, invest to investigate. Did they get back in contact with you? No, I haven't heard anything else from them. Thank you very much, Noah, for taking the time to speak to us today.